Here are two things you might not know about Storyline 360 dials. First, it is crazy easy to make a dial from anything. So here we've got two images. We've got Earth, and we've got the International Space Station, or the ISS. We want to interactively move the ISS around the Earth, like it does, about every 90 minutes, about 16 times a day it circles the Earth. How do we do that? How do we build this in Storyline? Well, again, we've got two images. We've got the Earth image, we've got the ISS image. We can come up here and click Insert, Dial, and you'll see a little button here, Convert to Dial. I can now see a center point, which I can drag around. I can drag to the center of the Earth. Although, I don't quite know where the center is, so let me undo that. I can come up here to Insert, Shape. I could create a cross, or I'll just create a plus sign here. And let's make that bright yellow so we can see it. I'm going to align that to the center in this case, because that's where my Earth is. I can now come up here and Insert, Dial, Convert to Dial and get that center point pretty dead on. And then we don't need the plus sign anymore. Now, all we have to do is drag this back around to the beginning. We can grab the green arrow, which is the start, and the red arrow, which is the end, and drag that around to the top, and we can reposition where the International Space Station is, just like that. Now if I run this, we can interactively orbit the Earth. Let's add a few more steps. Right now we have 12. 12 steps, you can see them around the Earth. Let's make that 100. That will smooth out the movement of the International Space Station. Let's say I want to move the ISS backwards. Well, I, I can't. That's where my start point is. Well, let's move it all the way around and keep moving it. Well. I can't move it past there either, that's my endpoint. So how do I make it seem like I can just rotate this around over and over and over again, forward and backwards? That gets into the second thing you might not know about dials. Now if you come up here to the endpoint, and you want to drag it past the start point, you can't do it, it starts over. So by having the endpoint right up against the start point, that means that our rotation is going to be 360, that's one complete orbit around the Earth. What's nice about this little controller up here is you can go above 360, 364, 5678, 370. You can go all the way up to 9,999. And you can see there's very few points here. That's because it's spreading 100 steps over 9,999 rotations. So let's set this to something that makes a little bit more sense. Let's set this to 3,600 instead of 360, and we can set this end value, which is the number of steps, to 1,000. And let's set our initial start point to 500, which will be halfway between those steps. Now, if I run this, I can go backwards, I can go forwards, and you can see I can go forwards quite a bit. I can go backwards quite a bit. Now this isn't infinite, but it can certainly keep the ISS circling the Earth for a while. And that is how you make the ISS interactively circle the Earth without NASA's budgets.